Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'll show you how you can make a space warp effects in Adobe After Effects. Have you seen stars in the sky? Oh yeah, you've probably seen them. But like uh, in outer space, usually there's this uh, warping effects that's created by the stars which are moving forward and they have this trail at the back of the stars. So that's what we're going to be achieving today. Let's start by making a new composition. Click on new composition and then uh, set the resolution, the frame rate and the duration to any rate or any number that you want. I, I want the sequence to be 15 seconds long so let's click on OK. And then all we have to do now is to right click on the left side of the timeline and head over to new and solid make it white click on OK and then make the stars by heading over to effect click on it head over to a uh, simulation and click on CC uh, hold on uh, ball action just like this and then decrease the ball size which is which will which will be the stars just like this and then um, do adjustments with the grid spacing so that uh, there will be more or less stars that will be used and then increase the scatter number so that it looks scattered just like stars just like this and then we can just uh, decrease the ball size to make it look like the stars that we want let's make a camera now right click on the left uh, right click on the left side of the timeline again and then head over to new and then head over to a camera just like this click on OK just like this and then um, and then all we have to do now is to uh, move the Z axis position which is this one make it really far just like so and then um, maybe make the stars much bigger increase the ball size again just like this hold on yeah this uh, this is cool now make a keyframe so that the camera moves in the Z axis by clicking on the stopwatch just like so at 0 seconds and then at 15 seconds if you drag the time indicator it stops drag the uh, slider for the Z axis position just like so and then if we play it alright it's now moving oh yeah oh yeah it's looking cool now all we have to do now is to uh, do a pre-comp select these two objects right click on each and then head over to pre-compose and then click on OK just like this and then when you're done you simply click on effect and then head over to time and then head over to echo and click on it this will create the star trails adjust the uh, the position hold on adjust the uh, position of the, uh, the 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 starting point of the trail just like this so that we get the streak that we want no 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 the trail effects that we want and then increase the number of echoes which is this one oh yeah it's looking really cool now it has the 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 trails that we want to see let's head over to precomp one just like this and then head over to effect controls and then just um no 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 hold on and then uh wait wait click on the layer and then decrease the ball size so that it looks like this now it's looking much better and now we have to no 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 actually uh let's uh just uh, do tweaks with the echo time so that it doesn't look so uh so that the stars don't look separated from each other and then the trail is going to be much more um realistic just like this maybe no, that's still too far. Hold on. Maybe do it just like this. No, that's still too far. Zero minus zero point zero two will be good for this. 
let's make it glow. Head over to effects and then head over to uh let's say hold on um stylize and then click on glow just like this and then do some tweaks increase the glow threshold or the radius to whichever rate that you want hold on uh, maybe just do it like this maybe mm, yeah that would be cool increase the intensity if you like or if you want to add more glow copy it and then paste the effects and then uh, head over to glow again just like that. oh that's uh, that's really uh, that's so that's so shiny we want to um, just do it just like this maybe no one glow effect is enough and uh, if we start again if we if you do some tweaks with the background let's say if you change the color of the background and then you play no 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 let's let's do some blur click on effect and then head over to a uh, uh, blur and sharpen and then head over to a uh, let's say um, camera lens blur and then set the blur to this maybe that will be really glowy and blurry and uh, just like so and um, make some adjustments probably by uh, increasing the blur radius so that it looks pretty much like this now it looks really realistic and then well let's say if we um, just uh, decrease the echo time again so that uh, the 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 st the the star trails will look much more realistic just like this or maybe set it to one for the blur and then when you're done and you play it it will look pretty much like this ah doesn't it look fancy and really glowing it's it's just like we're in outer space now so that's how you can make a space warp effect in Adobe After Effects thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel but for me it's good day ciao